Shooting your call story video is super simple, but let's go over a few tips and tricks before you get started. First, make sure you've picked a good shooting location. You should be able to light your face from the front and from both sides. Make sure there are no lights or windows behind you. Your lighting doesn't have to be super fancy. I'm using a sunny window, an overhead light, and a desk lamp. Listen closely for any background noise you might need to get rid of, such as air conditioners, lights that buzz, pet noises, that sort of thing. Now, how are you going to record your story? Any device with a camera and microphone will do fine, such as a webcam, a tablet, or even your phone. Each of these comes with a few quirks to watch out for, so be careful. First off, your video should be in landscape orientation. This means if you're using a phone or tablet, you'll need to turn it sideways. Keep in mind that a shaky camera is very distracting, so hold things as still as possible. Pay attention to angles, too. If you use the same angle for your video that you use to type, your whole video will come out looking like this. Make sure the camera is facing you straight on with no angles. Now, time to get ready for your close-up. Take a look at your clothes. Try not to wear bright colors like yellow or white or anything that will blend into the background behind you. Avoid patterns. Solid colors are usually best. Make sure that your hair is styled away from your face to avoid shadows. Maintain good posture and remember to keep your voice clear and even. Enunciate carefully so everyone can understand you. Your story should be specific, creative, bold, and brief, answering the list of questions provided at www.mycallstory.org. There is a time limit of five minutes. Your video should also feature an 85 by 11 piece of white paper with one of the GBHEM hashtags on it. This paper should be held landscape as well. You don't have to hold onto your hashtag the whole time, but make sure that when you do, it's clearly visible and easy to read. Last but not least, Take a few test recordings before you film your whole story. You never know what the camera will pick up, so it's best to practice a little and watch out for any last minute adjustments. Always wear headphones when listening to your test recordings so you don't miss anything in the audio. Once you've followed all of these steps and your test recordings look and sound good, you're ready to go. When you're done with your video, you can upload it to YouTube or Vimeo and then submit it using the online form at mycallstory.org. So tell us, what's your story?